hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is a review video and we're reviewing hypoallergenic eyeliners today so let's go ahead and get started What I enjoy doing for you guys which is searching the best products for you recommending products and just giving you some ideas that could help you out and giving you information that could be useful for your day-to-day -day makeup routine or beauty routine or skincare routine so today I found two four six seven seven eyeliners gel pencil eyeliners that are all hypoallergenic dermatology tested eyeliners that are definitely good for the eyes i have a good friend that really has difficulty with wearing mascaras and eyeliners and so last year i did a video for her which is the hypoallergenic mascaras so go ahead and check that out i'll put it up here or in the cards hopefully that will help you find a good mascara for your sensitive eyes um, this time I thought I would go with hypoallergenic eye pencils eye pencils are a must for my routine like I need it in my makeup application I have one of the eyeliners on my eyes right now lately my eyes have been more sensitive to eye makeup and so I thought you know what I need to figure out what are the best eyeliners out there for sensitive eyes i found seven for you guys so i'm so excited to tell you what i found just to begin with all of these eyeliners are either hypoallergenic dermatology tested um, safe on the eyes ophthalmology tested and allergy tested they have those better ingredients for sensitive eyes now all of them perform very differently they all have different textures so it just depends on what you need what works for you I'm not a dermatologist or an ophthalmologist but hopefully at least one or two might work for you if you have sensitive eyes so the first eyeliner that claims to be hypoallergenic ophthalmologist tested safe on the eyes is this Burt's Bees defining eyeliner so it looks like this the lighting is bad again today is a rainy day it's literally raining cats and dogs Burt's Bees is I think one of the cheapest eyeliners out of all the ones that I selected this is ten dollars at Ulta it comes with six colors and it's filled with jojoba oil and shea butter so it's a very nourishing very creamy product now with that said this is not waterproof it has a good staying power but it does not claim that it's waterproof it's like it glides on really nice which i love it lasts really long on the waterline but not for tight lining um but for me i always have very watery sensitive eyes it takes a lot to find an eyeliner that's gonna stay put on my tight line which is like the one that's on my lid if you if that makes sense this product is not bad at all it has a great lasting power especially on the waterline and it lasts even longer if you set it with like an eyeshadow bird piece is a good brand it's a great drugstore brand all natural this is a good one to try next item has been one of my long time faves ever since i've emptied it in my last empties i believe last year or two years ago i emptied it and i haven't tried it since this is the bare minerals lasting line long wearing eyeliner so this is what it looks like it's a twist up right there it comes with the sharpener and it also comes with a rubber smudger it sets this apart is that it's mineral based and it's rich in vitamin c this one has to be one of the most long wearing eyeliners out there it's super creamy and this one actually has a smudger that doesn't drag or tug on the eyes because if you've ever used smudgers before it's it's rubbery and if it's not done right it could seriously tug and pull on your under eyes and this part of your eyes is the most sensitive part but this one is so soft like it glides on nicely 
as though there's butter between the rubber and my eyes. So it's that good. I want to say three times more long wearing than Burt's and Bees. It is $17, so it's pricier. We all know Bare Minerals, cruelty-free, really great high-end product. Next item that I have is the Neutrogena Intense Gel Eyeliner. So this is what it looks like right here. I hope you guys can see that. And it's another twist up. So it twists up like that. Okay, so here's the problem with Neutrogena. Sorry about my fingers. Um, it got dirty from the Neutrogena eyeliner, and I'll tell you why. This is $10. It comes in only three colors, but this is considered clean beauty. It's full of antioxidants and vitamin E. This is a good brand with good ingredients. I love how long wearing it is. I want to say it lasts longer than Bare Minerals. Really. Definitely very long wearing. It's creamy but so creamy to the point that it breaks easily. I had so much high hopes for this, and so I was like, maybe I was being rough, I'm gonna try to be more gentle next time, and it did it again, like it keeps breaking up on me. This part is a little dirty because I think another piece broke off and it went into the cap, so what can you do? There's a trade-off, but oh my gosh, I am amazed at how long wearing it is. It is affordable. It is clean beauty. So that means it doesn't contain harsh chemicals that are normally used when making makeup. This is definitely uh, worth trying. It's just that you might run out of products easily because it keeps breaking. It doesn't flake though. Once it sets in your eyes, it's set and you're good to go. Did I tell you guys the price? It's $10 at Target. Fourth item is from Clinique. Another good brand. It is high-end brand. It is pricey. This one is up there for $20 at Ulta. So what makes this different from all the other hypoallergenic eyeliners that I got is that it is water resistant and it's safe for contact lens wearers. I love the color selection on this brand. Um, this is the Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes Intense. Clinique carries so many different ranges of eyeliners, but this one had the best color selection and this one had all the good stuff for sensitive eyes. This color right here is so beautiful. It's like a ashy blue like it pops nicely you know it's a blue one but it's deep enough to where it's not like bright baby blue if that makes sense this is in the color 08 intense midnight this is another long wearing product great eyeliner for the waterline it's super smooth and creamy even though it's long wearing it's not the most long wearing one out of the ones that i've tried it is not good for tight lining. Again, that's where your lash lines are, um, right here, your top lash for your lid. Um, but it's great for the waterline. It's long wearing enough, but it's not like super, super waterproof, I would say. But that's just me because like I said, I have very, very watery, sensitive eyes. This one claims to be water resistant. Water resistant is different from being waterproof. This one also comes with a smudger brush. Smudger brush is no good. It's rough. It tugs on the eyes. If your eyeliner doesn't have a smudger, it's not the end of the world. I usually use a pencil brush like this, like a small one to smudge eyeshadow under my eyeliner. So that is another option for you guys. The next one is the most expensive out of the whole bunch. This is from Thrive Cosmetics. It's $22. Thrive is a very philanthropic brand, so they give back to the community, and I think that's why their prices are very good, but their products are very high-end, very, very good quality. One of my favorite mascaras is from Thrive, and actually, in case you are interested, I did a full face of Thrive Cosmetics. In case you want to check that out, I'll put it up here or in the cards. This one is called Thrive Cosmetics Infinity Waterproof Eyeliner. 
So what sets this apart from the other eyeliners is, is that it contains shea butter and hyaluronic acid, supposed to really moisturize the eye area and even help with lash growth. Now, I don't know if that's true. We've never been able to observe that. This is in the color Lauren. It's pretty much standard black eyeliner for me. It's really not waterproof. At least for me, for my sensitive eyes, it does bleed a little. It's not super bad for the quality of the ingredients. I would definitely give this a try and keep using it. It has a smudger that's very soft. It also has a sharpener. And there's the smudger right there. Again, a retractable liner. It's not something that you sharpen. I wish that it stayed on much longer on the eyes. And they claim it's waterproof, so it better be. I have to say, this is not waterproof at all. So, you know, just something to think about with Thrive. But otherwise, another good brand. Soft, gel, very creamy. It doesn't flake. It's good on the eyes. It's just not as long wearing as I'd want it to be. Last two guys, Tarte Cosmetics Easy on the Eyes Eyeliner. I chose the bronze color because sometimes I like that lighter brown under my eyes, just very natural. It kind of helps it brighten under the eyes because it has a little bit of glitter. Not really glitter. Glitter is a bad word <laughs> in makeup. <laughs> Not really. There's no chunkiness to it. This is $19. There's only four shades on this one. This is one of their products that are considered vegan, Leaping Bunny certified, so all the good, all natural stuff. And not all Tarte products are vegan. But this one is, this particular eyeliner is. It is waterproof. It has a built-in sharpener, which I broke. <laughs> It had a built-in sharpener. It's a little on the drier formula. It's a little dry. I got this on a sale, but I feel like it dried on me pretty quick. I may have gotten a dud. This is what it looks like in case you're curious. It has a little sheen to it. Really long wearing, but I just feel that it tugs a little. It has a drier formula, and so I'm not a fan of that. Oh, and this is one of the formulas that are considered safe for contact lens wearers. So really, really good stuff in here. Definitely worth giving it a try. The last one is Glossier. Mid-range in price is $15. However, it's not sold on Ulta or Sephora. So you do have to shop from their website and pay shipping depending on how much you buy. But this has an amazing variety of colors, which I love, like even yellow, I think. My color is Hardcore Velvet. So I picked kind of like a greenish blue color, which I love under the eyes. I do have it on right now, so I don't know if that's showing. Very creamy for a pencil. So this is something that you would have to sharpen. It's a gel formula. It's waterproof for up to 10 to 12 hours, so that's nice. It is vegan in certain shades, so not all shades are vegan. It's very long wearing. It's great on the waterline. It's great for tight lining. This is definitely one of my favorite, and I saved it for last because it truly is my favorite out of the seven that I have. So I'm definitely going to get into Glossier more. So those are all the eyeliners that I've researched for you. I hope this was helpful for you guys. So just to sum it up, Birds, Bees, and Thrive Cosmetics was the least long wearing. It is what it is, the most expensive and the cheapest one, but they do have good quality ingredients, so I love that about them. The most long wearing one for me has been Glossier and Neutrogena. So these two right here has been the most long wearing, and surprisingly enough, out of all of the eyeliners that I have, I have to say, <laughs> Because of the price, Thrive is my least favorite. It just didn't perform as much as I'd hope it would compared to all the other ones. You know, Thrive is not bad at all. It could still work for you if you don't have like those super watery eyes like I do. I mean, I used to not have those, but now I have them. So I think it's just with age, the eyes are irritated more. I hope you guys find something that you will like and something that will work for your sensitive eyes. I do want to mention some makeup that I have on right now. My eyeshadow is all from this palette right here. 
the um, Artistry Palette by Morphe. This is something that I won in Leslie Arana or Lin Lin Beauty's giveaway. Definitely check that video out. I'll put it up here. I use that mint green like I said I would. This is just a sample that I tried. The Glam Glow Super Mattify Acid Clarifying Primer. Oh my gosh. It's this one right here and I just have a sample. And it like has this gray texture at first i thought it was a mud mask and it's amazing i love the texture on the face it mattifies you but at the same time moisturizes you so for my wing liner i used the laura geller um line and define eyeliner and this is weird to me but it has this eyeliner right here so i'm not sure what to do with that yet but i did use I did use this one right here, the eyeliner. So easy to use. And I got this from another giveaway from Simply Tanika Dion. So I'm so glad that I finally got to use it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews, as well as some unboxings here and there. So definitely check it out, join the family. There's always something to learn here. I'm thinking this year I would do a monthly review of some sort of foundation for you guys um, because I'm always on the hunt for the best foundation. With that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye!